Today we are going to have a new lesson. It is Unit 1, Four Meaning and Function, Mega Goal 6. For the third, second grade, the second semester. This lesson is prepared by Muhammad Bahari and presented by Muhammad Al-Athani. In this lesson, you can practice using articles and practice using expressions of quantity and context. What are articles in English? Think about the meaning of articles. Yes, as it is showing here, a and and the. A and are indefinite articles. That is definite articles. When do we use a, an, and the? Here we have description or uh, explaining how, when do we use a, an, and when do we use the? A, an are used in the, uh, with the indefinite nouns. It says here, use the indefinite article a, an before Singular, count, noun. So we have three conditions. It should be singular, countable, and it should be noun. We cannot use them with verbs. When we refer to the noun in a general sense, here we have also uh, one more condition to refer to a noun in general sense or and when we mention something for the first time. Here we have an example. In an attempt to boost sales, a well-known soft drink company created a new improved formula. Well-known soft drink. This soft drink is not known. We, we mention it for first time, so we use A. Also, the formula is mentioned for the first time, so we should use A. The, we use the definite article, the, and sometimes some people pronounce it as the before vowels, before singular and plural nouns, so a and just before singular nouns, but that before singular and plural, or for both singular and plural nouns, when we refer to something already known, something we know it before, or mentioned, or defined, so if something already known or mentioned or defined, we can use here that. And it doesn't matter whether it is, it is singular, one, or plural, more than one. The new formula, which was tested in 200,000 tests, tests replaced the original formula. So here, New formula is mentioned for the second time. Okay. This is the first time in the text. And when we complete the text, we found we can find the new formula. So it's mentioned for the second time. It's mentioned before. So we used that. Use the with the superlative and comparative adjectives and adverbs. Superlative like the most important, the most expensive, the most generous. So this is superlative. In 1876, the most important communication tele uh, 
technology was the telegraph. The telegraph is known and something uh, already known. Use that to refer to invention. Inventions, something created. Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. The telephone is invention. So we use that before invention. Don't use that before the names of people, streets, cities, and countries. For example, Fahad is my brother. We didn't say the Fahad is the my brother. No. Before names, people, uh, names of people, streets, cities, and countries, we shouldn't use, or we, we don't use that. He lives on Main Street, so it is a street. We don't say the Main Street. He is in Dubai, not Dubai, on vacation. Complete the sentences with the a and or uh, or no article like this dash. A company rejected the patent for telephone. What did we say? Telephone is invention. So we should use that. We should use here the article. Number two, William Orton was offered the patent for invention called the telephone. He will have a name of a person. Should we use that? Actually, we don't use that before, and so we leave it as it is. William Martin was offered the patent for what was here? Invention. This is the first time to mention the word invention. So we use an invention. An invention. Call the telephone. Number three. Orton may have made worse. Do you remember what with the superlative? Most and worst. We should use the. So, and right here. The worst business mistake in history. Number four. Alaska. Here, name of weather. Area, country, city, we don't use articles before these names, names of places. Alaska had been considered a burden rather than assist by Russia. So, rather than an assist, a assist. The assist. What can you write here? An assist, excellent. An assist by it was Russia. Name of country. Excellent. Before name of countries, we don't write articles. Number four, replacing the old formula with the new formula provided to be mistake and the company brought original formula back quickly provided to be a mistake because it's mentioned here for the first time or a mistake or a mistake and the company brought the original formula back. The original or the original formula back quickly. Uh, 
quantifiers. Now, we will move from talking about articles. We are going to talk about something different. It is quantifiers. Quantifiers like what? Many, few, little, much, a little, a few, a lot of. These, we call them quantifiers. Expressions of quantifiers. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns, nouns that we can count them. For example, I have one pen, two pens, three pens. It is countable. Non-countable, like water. You cannot have, you cannot say, I have one water or two waters. No. You can just count bottles, cups. You can say, I have one cup of water. But you cannot say, you cannot say one water. So, water, juice uh, are non-countable nouns and pen, laptop, Mouse are countable nouns. So here we say you can say how many jobs. Jobs is countable. So we used many. We didn't use much. How many jobs have you had? He only has a few friends. Friends countable. We used few or a few with countable nouns. With non-countable nouns, you can say, how much gold did they sell? How much, not how many. Gold is not countable or non-countable. There is little money left. Money is not countable. It is non-count noun. Non non-countable noun. Use plenty of. A lot of, hardly any, and enough for both plural countable and non-count nouns. So we can use the, these phrases with countable or with count and non-count nouns. For example, we can say she has plenty of friends or she has hardly any friends. She has plenty of money or hardly any money so money is non count noun and friend count noun and used both plenty of and hardly any with both of them and both of them are correct exercise read the sentences and put some any much, many, a lot of, a little, a few. There aren't car parks in the center of Oxford. What can we say here? Or what can we write here? There aren't car parks in the center of Oxford. Car Parks. Park. Is it countable or non-countable? Non-countable. Oh, no, it is countable. Since you, you see this S, it means it is count now. So, with count nouns, we can use either many, uh, yes, many or few. He says there aren't car parks in the center of Oxford. Since it is a negative, I think the best thing is to say many. There aren't many car parks in the center of Oxford. Eating out is expensive here. There aren't cheap restaurants. Here we go. Here we, we have S. Since we have S, so it should be countable or count now but 
with negative, you can say there aren't any aren't any cheap restaurants. Liverpool has of nice clubs countable. You can say Can we say many of nice clubs? No. We can say only a lot of nice clubs. A lot of nice clubs. Number four. Hurry up. We only have time before the coach leaves. What can you say here? We only have time. Only, so, with, uh, we should use either few or little. Time, is it countable or non-countable? Non-countable. So we can use, we can say, we have a little. We have a little time before the couch leaves. Number five, there are a shops near the university there are shops is countable you can use here there are some shops there are some shops near the university number six it's very quiet there aren't people here today people are they countable uh, is the word people count count noun or non count noun we have only here few and little can say here there aren't people we use the people as count now so we say there aren't few people here or uh, today there are expensive new flats next to the river there are Expensive new flats. Expensive and new are adjectives. So we should find the closest noun, which is flat. Is it countable? It's countable. So we can use count, uh, countable quantifier. So the answer here is many. There are many expensive new flats next to the river. Now we come to the end of our today's lesson. Today we talked about articles A and and that. We said that A and an are indefinite articles. We can use them with indefinite nouns. We use the with something or with before nouns that already known mentioned. Also then we talked about quantifiers and expressions of quantifiers for count and non count nouns like a lot of and some. Also, we talked about expressions of quantifiers for count noun with numbers, uh, several, many, few, and expressions of quantifiers for non-count noun. This is the end of our today's lesson. Here are the references.